Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today we are continuing this experimental tournament of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof deliciousness into its third segment. Today we have three more Elijah Craig Barrel Proof batches that we are going to taste test and figure out which one of these batches is the baddest batch of the three. And this bad batch, which is actually a good batch, full circle, will be moving on to the next round of this best of 12, best of four years, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Tournament. Laying in front of me, I have three glasses that I will expertly nose and taste to determine which one is the best. I do not know which three batches I'm drinking, but after I determine a winner, we will reveal the winner and the losers. And it's time to get into glass number seven. Hmm. What the heck? Glass seven has a weird toasted note to it. A bit of a toasted barrel, a little bit off profile for an Elijah Gregg barrel proof, I would say. And I don't know. That's a little bit strange. Not exactly the most on-profile Elijah Craig Barrel Proof nose that I've smelled. Does it smell bad? No. Does it smell wonderful? Not really. It smells good. It's a good smelling bourbon. There's a little bit of berry on there. Kind of like a strawberry. A little bit of a vanilla strawberry. Let's go down the hatch with glass number seven to find out if this can go to hell or if it's actually heaven. Huh. Number seven is not going to win tonight. Hmm. It's a little bit flat. It's a little bit flat. It is a little bit nutty. Number seven might be my least favorite out of the first seven samples I've tried. Number seven, what the heck is your problem? What year did you come from, number seven? Friggin' weirdo. Number eight, class number eight on the nose. That's better. That's better. That's darker fruits. That's, that's heavier oak, charred oak and deliciousness. Vanilla and breakfast. Oh, I love a good breakfast. The nose on glass eight is great. This is more of a traditional Elijah Craig Barrel Proof nose. It is dark fruits and oak. This is just barrel proof bourbon at its finest on the nose. Wow, that's tremendous. That's ridiculous. Yep. A little bit barrel bitter on the very end. But holy cow, that was like cream savored fruits, like a creamy strawberry cream saver fruit. Cinnamon, lots of cinnamon. Glass, glass number eight is wonderful. Glass number eight is far and away superior to glass number seven. Glass number seven is what you would call glass number ick or ew or glass number what the hell are you thinking? Even though it's still pretty good because it's Elijah Craig Barrel Proof but it is not up to the standards that I have set for this delicious, wonderful, spectacular, amazing, astronomical, which is a brand new word, bourbon whiskey that I enjoy so much. Glass number nine. Are you all right or are you extra super fine? Oh my yummy. Okay. Whatever I said about number eight, throw that out the window and kick it with a steel toe boot to the moon. And then after it orbits the moon and enters it back into Earth's atmosphere, kick it with your left foot, steel toe boot. Boom, shatters it. Then you catch the bourbon in your mouth, like raindrops falling from the fake clouds that are man-made from chemtrails, apparently. And Bigfoot, also. This nose knows no bounds. It is ridiculous. Extra concentrated, 
breakfast, waffles, French toast, maple syrup, oak, vanilla, coffee. Me want it. I want it so bad. That takes the breath away. Oh heavens. Oh wow, that's good. They give me the chill bumps, the goosers. Look at that, my hair standing up. My hair standing up. It coats the mouth so well. It's so viscous and so oily. That might be the best one I've tasted so far. The nose on glass eight is awesome. So good, so good. Glass nine is just that much better. Glass number nine is easily in first place. Glass number eight is easily in second place. Although I think that if glass number eight would have been in a previous tasting, either in the first round or the second round, glass eight might have moved on to the finals or to the next round anyway. And glass number seven brings up the rear for sure, for sure. And glass number seven, according to my key, is C. 917. In second place, in second place, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch C918 was in glass eight. Moving on to the next round, glass number nine is the winner. Drum roll, please. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch A120. A120 kind of came out here and stomped on the other two a little bit. Next week, it'll be the final matchup of the first round to see which batch will be the final entry into the next and possibly final round, probably the final round of this tournament. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment below. My name is Matt, and this is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on drinking barrel-proof bourbons on Easter after the children fall asleep and your wife gets off her keister and goes to bed and you make your way to the basement and you pour yourself three barrel-proof bourbons. Turn on your camera, make sure you're in focus, which you hopefully are, and you talk to the camera while you sip these sums of bitches. So sensually and you pick a favorite and then you tell them which one it is and you do your outro which this is right now and then you say good night and shut off your camera good night <laughs>